Hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial. If you guys want to know how to make it, please stay tuned. First, you'll need some glow in the dark clay. I'm using this orange one. Some thread. I'm using white. A little bit of food coloring. Transparent, I mean clear glue. Some water. A little brush. Super glue. Scissors. I'm using this kind of see-through ribbon. Only the see-through part though. I wish I knew what it was called. This eye screw dotting tool with two ends. Glaze. A pen. Glow in the dark paint. And a bottle. First, I took the string and I cut off a piece and I got the glow in the dark glow and just rubbed the string all over in it making sure I get everything and I just pulled it apart and set it to dry then I took the ribbon and cut off the very edge that was still kind of dark I just went ahead and cut the more see-through ones into long strips. Then I took the strips and cut them in half. I arranged them how I wanted them to look and then I put a little drop of crazy glue with it, the the back of my brush, I squished them together, put pressure, till they dried. Then I went and trimmed them, about half of that. I took the st string again and gave it a second coat of glow in the dark paint, and then set it off to dry. I grabbed a little ball of clay, made a little hole with the little end of the dotting tool and started making it bigger by pushing the clay against my finger. I did that to the whole thing. Then I took the bigger end and made it even thinner. Sorry this was out of focus but I was just mm, pushing it all the way through till it kind of ripped to create kind of like a ripply effect in the bottom. Kind of gave it a little roll because it was getting too wide. So this is how it should look. Then with the small side of the dotting tool I made another little hole. A little bit deeper. This time it's gonna be for when the little tentacles go in. Here I'm just checking if it fits and it did so great. So then I grabbed my dried string and then I got the glaze and glazed it. And I just set it up to dry and while that was drying I took my bottle and I started, I filled it halfway with water. I added a tiny bit, only a tiny, tiny bit of blue. And then that's it. I took the clear glue and added the rest of glue, the, re the remaining half. And then I just gave it a quick shake. I decided to stir it with the pointing tool that I found nearby. You could just shake it if you want, but it'll take longer. Here it is all mixed. Now that it's baked, I put it aside and I got the string and cut it into little pieces. I put a little drop of crazy glue in, in where the hole was. And then I started arranging the glow-in-the-dark string 
with the see-through fabric and waited till they dried. I took the red pen and just uh, along the edge I put like a red marking well red all over it then I made these little squiggly lines from the top to the bottom here it is now it's time to put it in the bottle took the cork and I put some crazy glue around it and then I went ahead and sealed it up I put the ice glue in the cork on the top because I'm going to make mine into a necklace but you could leave yours as is or however you like but here it is it's floating in there hmm. I'm just charging it with my phone I thought this looked pretty cool, but here it is, glowing in the dark. I think this looks awesome. I'm really happy how it came out. I like how you can see the red marks. But here it is, all done. I attached, I attached my necklace to it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Bye.